What's up, everybody? Welcome back to Old Folks TV. We're outside again today. Man, it is a beautiful day. Uh, it's a perfect day for a little product testing. Uh, I, you can see right here, I've got this Maxi Track awning. Um, I have been obsessed with these things since I've seen them come out on the internet. They're everywhere. All the bus guys are buying them right now. Even a couple bug guys have got them on their cars. Uh, it's just a basic, simple awning that you mount to the rack and it pulls out. In, in no time at all looks pretty easy so I have my other awning over there somewhere the blue uh, circus tent looking one with the poles that I made if you remember a couple videos ago a bunch of video goes actually uh, that thing is really really cool and it's huge and I love it but man it takes forever to put up packing it trying to get it out to wherever we're going all the poles and the connectors and the hardware it's kind of a pain in the ass really so this hangs on the side of the bus it stows itself you can just leave it on there uh, it's easy enough to take off I guess I could just take it on and off when I need it so we're gonna see we're gonna check it out we're gonna pull it out and play with it and see you know the good stuff the bad stuff maybe you need to get one I don't know we'll see uh, I got all the tools I got all the hardware shouldn't take long so let's we'll jump in and tear into the package and see what they give you and then uh, I'll get it on the bus and we'll get it all opened up and see what we got all right, so basically what you get, um, it comes in a big long box and it comes in that cover and you know, that's everything's already in there. You get this little baggie. This is your important pouch. It's got uh, some crumpled up instructions, uh, a couple of tent poles and uh, some little rope so you can tie down the ends. That's pretty much it. <laughs> uh, you know, it also comes with these brackets and all the hardware, nuts and bolts and stuff. And I'll show you, it's really cool in the back. Um, there's like a track that these bolts slide into, so you only need to use the, the wrench on one side, or I got the impact with the deep socket uh, to bolt it on once you have these bolted to the rack. Now I got lucky because uh, when I put my rack together, I welded in some plates on either side in front and back for, uh, I have like this, kind of hammocky chair thing that I'm trying to, to figure out how to do. So I welded these plates in there to mount that uh, and it actually lines up perfect to where I can mount this to that hole that's in there. Uh, and then I made this little tab that they give you that's supposed to go underneath. I just bolted it here so it can't pull down. You'll see what I mean when I bolt it on. Uh, so you get you know two setups like this, all the hardware you need, you know, and that's pretty much it. Um, I, I cheated, put it together yesterday just to check on it. And uh, the, the tensioning on the legs is just garbage, total garbage. Like it broke instantly. But for four bucks, you can go down to uh, the auto parts store. And you can buy these, you know, like a hose clamp with a little key on it. So I'm going to show you how to fix it. It's a five dollar fix to fix the awning, and then you won't have any problems after that, guaranteed. Uh, so that's pretty much it. That's all the parts. It's very simple. Uh, so let's get it bolted on the bus. And we'll do that super quick time, and then uh, when we're all done, I'll open it up. You can watch me struggle, see if it's a struggle to set it up. It's not too bad, though. And, uh, you know, we'll, we'll go over what you get when you got it open.
There you go, easy as pie. <laughs> uh, real time, it took me about five minutes, so not too bad. Uh, and you got, you know, the legs kind of stow up inside the track here. The arms go in and stow up in the top of the track up there. And it all just kind of rolls up and zips into that little pouch. It's actually super easy. The only thing that I don't like about it, the thing that I had the trouble with was these legs right here. Um, I had to add these little hose clamps with the keys because they give you this plastic, I don't know, it's like a little plug with a weird little plastic brake in there. And you turn it one way and it's supposed to lock it and you turn it the other way and it's supposed to loosen it up. The first day, I mean the first time I pulled the thing out, it broke. These pop out too easy so that's kind of a, a design flaw. A little plastic tensioners are no good. Uh, but the poles are nice. They're aluminum so all I did was I took a grinder and I cut a slot this way and a slot that way so I had you know little fingers and I put the uh, hose clamp right on there so now I can tighten onto this lower pole so I can loosen that and it can go longer and shorter as needed so if it's raining outside you know you want to flip a corner like this so that way the rain can the rain can all run off one way you know it's not just pooling up in the middle and you gotta pop it off so you can you can lower both if it's windy you know, you can lower just the one, and then you just loosen the hose clamp up, and pull the leg back out. And then bam, you got it right there. Back up, you got an unlevel surface, you know, that's what those are kind of made for. And then you can still slide all the way up. And then, these little keys pop off. So it's just a hose clamp, I already checked it, it'll fit in there, and then I'm just gonna attach this with a little hook you know, to their little string so I don't lose one. I actually have two of these, so, you know, one on each. So we'll probably put one in the bag with the stakes as a spare, and then we'll tie one to something so we can just, you know, use it. So put the legs up and down, and then they just pop right back on. It's like a $4 fix, uh, and it kept me from having to return this thing and, and wait for a new one to come. Sometimes you just gotta, you gotta think. <laughs> you gotta think of something to fix it, so. Other than that, man, it's nice, waterproof, uh, fabric, lightweight, and you know, it just folds up and, and folds away. It's perfect. So I'm gonna zoom in, the camera will show you how I mounted it uh, to the rack. Uh, everybody kind of has to mount it a little differently. Everybody has a little different situation. I like mine to be high, and I may make a new bracket that raises it up even higher just because I don't like to be this close. You know, I want that to come out where my other one did, which was at the top of the rack. So I'm gonna see if I can move it up a couple inches just to get a little more headroom. Uh, but for now, this will work just fine. We got a couple campouts coming up. Bus Fest is coming up and uh, 7D Ranch. We got a camp out over there for that show. So hopefully we'll get to test this out and see how it works. Uh, but let's zoom in, I'll show you the brackets. I'm pretty proud of how I did it because it was really easy. Come on. Here we go. There's a good view of the, the bracket. So you can see the bolts, they slide into this little T-track, you know, so you can adjust this thing anywhere along the length as long as both brackets can, can hit it. Uh, I've got mine set kind of towards the back a little bit because I have that camp kitchen over there and I want to make sure that that's covered uh, just in case we do get any rain, I can still cook. Uh, I got to put the other nut on there, but I was kind of in a hurry and I couldn't get it on. <laughs> but the bracket comes in here. This is that little plate that I put on there so I can have that awning. Uh, not that awning, but that little hammock chair can come out. If this sat up higher, I could actually still use those. Uh, they, they come out right through here and then they sit right underneath. So that would be pretty cool uh, to have kind of hanging chairs. I'm still sort of working on that one. Uh, but I just bolted it to that steel plate. And then this one just kind of keeps it so that it doesn't drop down. It fits on there pretty tight. It's actually pretty nice. And then I just have the same setup way over there. You can't really see it. It's about to rain. I'm gonna have to go hide in the house and start editing this. <laughs> uh, but this thing can just hang right on the side there. I mean, I feel pretty confident that that's, you know, that's on there solid. And once it's all zipped up, this is a, a waterproof sort of rubbery cover. Uh, you know, so I'm, I'm pretty stoked on it, man. It's gonna be nice. 
So I think uh, it's gonna work good. I think you should buy one if you can get a hold of it. I'll throw a link down below. And you can, uh, maybe you can buy one. I'll climb down my, these things are so handy. Love that for climbing. Uh, but here you can see, it's got these little Velcro straps. This one's not even on there. And then there's a little pin that goes through that track and that tensions it out. So that gives you a nice tight, you know, tight awning there. And then this is cast, which is nice because that's not gonna snap off, you know, like if it was plastic. And then the leg, and then this holds this into this little square part. And then this right here, you know, you can see these fold back, one above and one below. It's two, so the, the two little arms will swing in there. And the whole thing just rolls up and then these little Velcro straps hold it in there. It's actually a pretty good design for pretty cheap. And it's lightweight too, but it seems strong. It's got that sort of webbing. So, I don't know, I feel like it's, it's good. And then it actually has right here, is really hard to see but right along this edge it has the uh, it has the same track like this one uh, so I'm assuming that there's gonna be some sort of an accessory curtain or something that I can put in there I don't think yeah the sides don't have it but I bet you could hook it to this pole and then you can see this slides right there so this attaches to that just the same. I wonder if you can get another one and either extend it or, or drop it down and make it kind of like a screen room. I'm gonna look into it and see what I could find. Uh, but that's it. Pretty cool Max Track awning kit. Oh look, this one even has one on the bottom. So you could get one for the back too, a little something to come down here. Maybe I can get uh, Bruce to make it. Something to come down here and keep the rain from coming in this way lots of little things you don't notice you know but it's very well put together for 100 bucks I definitely recommend picking one up so it's, it's worth it and it's eight feet I mean it sticks out comes out a fair bit and it's eight feet wide and eight feet out that's what my big one is comes out eight feet as well um, but it's I think it's ten feet wide because it goes the full bus and then it hangs over a little bit uh, that's it so I'm gonna put it away because like we're about to get dumped on with the tip of a hurricane so I don't want to get wet. That's why I got my, my bus eyes on because I'm keeping water from getting on my dash. So but that's pretty much it. So you can uh, get you a shirt on the Teespring. Check out all the friends all over the everywhere. <laughs> the links are down below. Uh, it's easier if you want to just go to Ooh, here I can show you oldvolkstv.com oldvolkstv.com it's going to give you all of the uh, the pertinent links to all of our friends Ooh, it got dark uh, that's where all our, our friends links are at so you can go visit them and uh, thanks for watching